Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at uh, Chainlink then. So, um, first of all, I'm not a financial advisor, it's not financial advice, um, but I'm just, just looking at this for the first time in a while and it looks absolutely amazing actually. And um, one thing I've got to say first of all is that the market is due for, um, a few days ago I, I said we're looking for about a, 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 a roughly about a 15% or perhaps a little more pullback on across the board with all altcoins and Bitcoin eventually. Um, and today we've had a bit of, I think it's, I'd say, generally say across the board we've had about a 4% pullback. Um, so we've still got a little way to go. Uh, the market's definitely got over 10% left to retrace I would say before. Maybe not bottoming but um, maybe trying to make a recovery. And that said, um, if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that, the anticipation of that, I would probably be looking to buy some chain link. The chain link, looking at this chart, looks pretty amazing. So basically, we, yeah, starting back here in May, I mean, it was, uh, it was, it was all the way down here. We had a, a massive move, a parabolic top, similar to what you saw with Matic, in fact, and uh, the inevitable consolidation. Now what I should say is that this consolidation took place alongside the rest of the market also not consolidating but, but downtrending really and um, if it wasn't for the fact that the market started to fall down for all altcoins across the board this probably wouldn't look so dramatic this this I mean that's parabolic we expected something like that and this is generally the way that parabolic moves look afterwards to be honest with you you look at Bitcoin you know when that topped off at in 2017 to 18, you know, we come back down here. You, you hang around here for a little bit. You take a final leg down, and then one last little leg, and then and then you start to build up. So perhaps maybe this is where we stand. This could be perhaps the bottom with the chain link back down here. Um, but again, the market is due for another retracement, and if it wasn't, it, and it's only because of that that I'm probably going to leave chain link alone for the moment until that drop has taken place. But that said, though, let's have a look at the chart. Okay, so first of all, uh, we'll uh, we'll parallel this with Ethereum, um, another strong coin with good prospects long term. But I do believe that um, the prospects for Chainlink are probably going to be a lot better than than that of Ethereum. So, first of all, um, I bring up the Itchy Cloud. The Ichimoku Cloud. We're underneath the red, which is the same with all coins. Every single coin at the moment is underneath the red cloud, which is which is fine. In it, you know. It's not good, but you know that's where they all are. They're all like this. They all look like this. But there's a few differences. So first of all, the MACD is uh, it's beneath the zero point. We've got a histogram showing that we've got a bit of bearish move um, about to perhaps maybe end, and, and and one big push likely to take place to break us above here, which could happen in the next few days. Um, and um, as well as that, we have had. The cross take place in a bullish cross just just today um, on the Ichimoku cloud, which would suggest that there is a chance that it will push through this area and break above uh, into the uh, 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 and up and above perhaps maybe areas such as two dollar twenty um, and more. But like I say, because the market looks like it wants to retrace a little, that's gonna that's gonna impact. Um, a chain link, uh, regardless, but the strength is here. It's uh, you know we've got we've got a few signs now. Um, I would say, and if it wasn't for the, like I say, I gotta keep repeating myself, but it wasn't for the fact that the market looks like it wants to do the opposite of this. I would definitely be jumping on the back of chain link. Uh, I don't know if I said it, but I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. This that's just, that's just what I would do if it wasn't for that whole crypto market looking like it wants to fall down again you know just take another leg down and um, but like I say if it wasn't for that this looks like a great chart okay where well, it looks like it's, en it's ended its bearish trend and it says consolidation has ended and its bottom has uh, and perhaps probably bottomed out at this level and on the next step down to perhaps maybe this level here around about $1.76 I might be looking to pick some up um, but with the market, like I say, let's measure this one out from top to bottom here to here, where the price action currently is. Uh, actually, that would bring us up to about 10% drop now, actually. So perhaps, maybe, that would be a good entry point. Like I said, the market looks like it wants to retrace a, a further 10%. I mean, some coins are going to drop considerably more than that. But generally speaking, 10% is where it's looking to drop to. So so for Chainlink to drop down to this level, which is uh, $1.75, would would actually you know maybe maybe I will actually actually pick some up at this level. 
Uh, and uh, where are we looking to go long term for this? Well, long term, uh, certainly going to be breaking above here and finding our way to around about this level of two dollar forty, and um, before a bit of resistance kicks in. Uh, Two dollar forty would probably see some resistance, but pushing through that area, there's no, there's nothing to say that it wouldn't start to really make some big bold moves, uh, getting closer and closer to that three dollar move. Now, once that happens, and that's not going to happen overnight, obviously, but once that happens, once that two dollar forty area is broken, hopefully that will turn to support, and uh, and then it will start to build up on this. And I actually would, I could envision this making some some significant large moves. So let's parallel this with Ethereum. Let's have a look at the way that Ethereum looks right now. So Ethereum, again, underneath the red cloud, just like Chainlink, actually made some really big moves back uh, uh, not too long ago, but before it completely fell down. Uh, with all altcoins, all did this. And let's just have a look see how uh, Chainlink did. So Chainlink, it was a bit of an underperformer in that little rally. Um, had a big, big weird wick and it's it a strange move. That this. That's not something you really want to see on any chart, to be honest with you. That's a really weird looking move, that one there. Um, I don't like the word manipulation, because trading, in, in a sense, is, is yeah, I would say it's manipulated. It's just buying and selling. So someone had, had a big buy and a big sell there. You know, so, so what? But um, that that's just the way it works. But that's a weird looking candle with two weird wicks on it. Don't, don't like the look of that at all. But um, testing this bottom here, which is the, uh, the 200 EMA, um, which, you know, in in in, uh, in all fairness, held up extremely well. Yeah, I wasn't following this coin, so I don't really know how this played out. What actually caused that? If it spiked to the up or to the down first, I really don't know what what caused that. Um, but um, being rejected on this second candle wick here from the 50 EMA, uh, 50 EMA, and again rejected there. So now that we've broken above there, and we can see this wick here just on today's candle, um, sort of being supported there. So that the, these are all good signs of strength. And we had this cross take place on the conversion line over the the baseline, and the conversion line crossing, suggesting that it wants to actually push up. And the MACD looks good, the uh, RSI looks good, so it does look good. But when we look at Ethereum, actually. We see a bit more of a weaker picture. We see a cross to the down on the Ichimoku cloud beneath the uh, the, the 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 red cloud. We're still beneath the red cloud, and the red cloud be being a resistance in itself, uh, we're not even able to push up towards the centre of the Bollinger Band. Uh, whereas with um, Ethereum, we, we've we've broken above there, and we're actually being supported by the uh, the, the the 50 EMA, which obviously when we see the 50 EMA, so it's way away at the moment from Ethereum. Ethereum's not not getting close to it. So you can see that you know with top top coins like um, Ethereum and, and a lot of coins look like this. You know the the major sort of altcoins, like Ripple and and EOS, and all the all the major ones that I generally follow, all look like this. They all look pretty sorry for themselves. Um, Chainlink looks completely, you know, ready to make a move. And if it wasn't for the weight of all these other coins looking so bearish, like I say, because they, they, what they will do inevitably is um, when they make this move down, they make a ten percent move down or more. Um, they will drag every single alt down with it, um, just by the nature of it, because the, the market cap will be decreasing, and sentiment will be uh, will be sort of getting lost in, in in all of this madness which will ensue. But you know, like I say, this is going to be on my radar from now on. I think I think this is a coin that I'm actually going to be trading, and I will actually probably be making videos on it quite regularly. So just to recap, um, this anomaly. Uh, that we had here uh, showed that the, the 200 EMA is a very strong support. Again, this this wick here showed us that it's also a strong support uh, on the 200 simple. Um, this uh, resistance of the uh, 50 EMA has been tested twice and broken now, and it appears to be support as of just today. We've got a cross on the conversion of the baseline on the Ichimoku cloud. We've started to edge our way through this resistance red cloud. The MACD and the RSI look bullish, and um, I think this one gets a green light from me. Like I say, we'll wait and see what happens. You know, with all the other coins. Um, but a 10% pullback would probably be expected um, across the board and if, if we're lucky enough to see Chainlink come back down to this level $1.76 I think I'm going to be buying some to be honest with you and probably probably buying quite a lot of it actually anyway I hope that was useful for you and um, it's definitely very insightful for me to see this and um, yeah like I say Chainlink is going to be on my radar for a long time now and I hope you have a nice evening take it easy goodbye